That looks epic, buddy. Passive tire. I mean, the Jeep is gonna sit. I mean, the Jeep has to clear this. Good morning, folks, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day as always. I know that I have kind of neglected the Gladiator because I bought it and then like two days later I had all the McLaren stuff going on. But we're back with the Gladiator today. And uh, you know, one of the reasons why I haven't really showed much of the Gladiator is because, let's be real, it looks like poop. It's a cool little truck and I, and I do like it, but it just looks like absolute poop. Uh, if you have a Jeep Gladiator or a different Jeep model, it definitely needs to be lifted with some big chunky wheels and tires on it. And that's exactly what we're doing today. It's gonna look so sick. All black with the wheel and tire setup I have. Mmm, it's gonna be good. Get ready, no more crappy stock Jeep. I don't like it. I want it to be lifted with big chunky wheels and tires on it. I can't wait. First, a little update. We are calling the winner of our GT500 on Friday, this Friday the 11th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So that is when we will be calling the winner. We have them right now. I haven't seen their name yet though. I have not seen it, so I don't know. You know, I don't know who it is, whose name it is. Um, but we will be calling Friday the 11th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Have your phone and keep an eye out for a 717 number. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't resist taking a quick drive in the McLaren as well. So we haven't really done that yet. And don't worry, I have a whole video coming out on my first acceleration, which I have not done yet in the car because I'm taking it easy for the little break-in period. See, we only have 231 miles on it, um, so that video will be coming, but this car is nuts, guys. It's nuts. <laughs> the feel of this car on camera because there's so much that you just have to actually feel but that sound is so incredible I love it I love it's one of my favorite things about this car so far is just the sound it makes with that roof snorkel and all you hear are the turbos right above your head the whole time you're driving right above your head that's all you hear doing 20 in a, in a 35 but um, yeah it, it's pretty epic definitely 1000% epic guys a quick update on orders we are waiting for um, one shipment of staying life shirts orders are going out I know that the last week was kind of crazy Bam has definitely spotted us with his water jug there it is don't worry orders are going out it just might take a little bit longer than normal giving the folks a quick update on orders things are going out so nice nice 500 left so if you're one of the 500 I apologize, uh, but we're doing the best we can. Stacks upon stacks. Nice. Upon stacks. Nice, buddy. Yeah, dude. Dude, the car's looking so sexy. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Love the car, dude. The carbon accents. Full carbon. Yeah, I went, I went for the I went for the big carbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big mistake because the car was ridiculously expensive, but dude, it looks yeah. good. Yeah. I love how much darker mm -hmm. it is. Go check it out, buddy. Roughly 500 left. Roughly. Nice, dude. Nice. But I mean, we still got a bunch. We got to fill it. I got to go pick up more shirts. Right. I, we're waiting on Stang Life shirts. Yes. And one knife design and one key tag, right? Yeah. We also got to like let them know. All these are like return to senders. So like pay attention to your emails and your phones because we're calling, we're emailing and we need to get this stuff back out to you. It's like stupid because some uh, post offices will like knock on the door, ring the doorbell, if nobody's there, they'll take it back and they'll do it again and then if they don't Sounds about reach right. them, they'll freaking send it back to us and they post won't leave office. it. They won't post leave office. Post office. So. It's annoying. Unreal, yeah, we hate the All post office. All those piles stress me out. <laughs> I already started taking it off. <laughs> But it's pretty bad. I'll show him a little. There it is, just a little yeah, bit. Dude, it's it's I mean, Shane's car is is that low to the ground. Yeah. I mean, my ZR1 is like up here. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, we gotta figure something. That is way. low. We literally cut out a half inch, or something's gotta give, or I can take it off and run it without a splitter because it still looks good. It looks and it looks insane. That's the yeah, only. So, the downside is it looks amazing, yeah. but it's impractical. Yeah, we got that Lip Pro stuff, so I'm gonna test that out. That'll be a true I know. Test I can't wait now. to see it. I've gotta figure it out. Wheels for sale. Hummer so. wheels. Are you selling them? <laughs> Dude, those will sell. You really, you're really selling them? Should I? Yeah, these are uh, fuel octane 20 by 12s, negative uh, negative 44 on uh, two really good Toyo uh, Toyo Open Country, right? Yeah, the two fronts are, are think, bad. Right? The, the two rears are great. No, it's dish. a Nitto Trail it's a Grappler. Trail Grappler, yeah. Gotcha. And then the the other ones are a little bald. They're they're like, just a bit. Yeah, they're but they need replaced. If you want these, I'll put them on my uh, story. But yeah, those will sell for sure. Six lug and what's what's the other one? Six lug Chevy. Probably, probably Ford or Dodge as well. Dude, Dude, that looks epic, buddy. It looks like a true military. It looks like a proper beer. Hummer. All right, so now I'm excited. It rides way better. It's great, <laughs> and now we're gonna do the wrap on it. Heck yeah, dude. Heck Definitely yeah. Desert tan. Oh, so Shane and I got the exact same wheels because we're cute like that. Yeah. I got mine for the dirty. He's got his for the Humvee, but they look really good, dude. Congrats. Yeah, good shot, black yeah, Black Rhino is a new like Nailed friend it. of the chat, dude. They love it. I lo I love it. I love it. Thank Rich you for is calling. Those wheels. Absolutely. Let's see what Rich has to say. Hello. Hey, hey Mike. This is Rich. Are you, are you I there? I know. <laughs> up and around. Yeah, yeah. I'm over at chains. What's up? Oh, you're over at Shane's. All right, no, nah, never mind. I, if you were home, I was going to ask you to come over and give me a hand with something, but I don't. That's yeah, I'll be I'll be home in ten minutes. I'll come help you. No, you don't need to do that. Rich, wait for me. I'll come help. We are back, and the lift kit is here, which is one more reason why I wanted to uh, drive around and waste time. Um, so the, the lift kit got delivered from our boys over at Fabtech. I don't know if it says it anywhere on the box. I don't think it does. It doesn't. But it's from Fabtech, and what we got here is a. A lift kit I won't actually well I'm gonna say how big do you think we went now again you know I would love to do like a 10 inch lift and put the thing on 44s we are going for a daily driver we want something that is bigger and badder and off-road capable but something we can drive to the off-road park as well not just a, a rig we have to trailer um, so put your guesses below but we went with a three and a half to four inch lift and that is going to allow us to clear. Aha! These enormous tires. Let me get them out of my out of my room here. Look at all my my crap. ZR1 wheels, tires, uh, mostly from McLarens. Those are for the Rado. I'm gonna get these out and we'll stack them up next to the truck. Big big tires coming out of the garage. What we went with are some 37 by 12 and a half 17s. Um, so 37s are pretty, uh, they're about at the limit of where you wanna be for a daily driver. 40s would be the next step up. 40s would look great, but then you have to go to an even bigger lift, which is more complicated. This is pretty simple. Um, so a smaller lift, a smaller tire, it's going to be easy to install, uh, should still be a great daily. And uh, it's still gonna it's still gonna give you an amazing look as well as great off-road capability. 37 is a huge tire. Uh, the old Jeep had 35s. My Duramax on a 12-inch lift is running 37s. Uh, so a 37 is a really big tire. I'll put it over here just to kind of show you what <laughs> what we're looking at. But yeah, so that's a that's a 37, and you can see. It's about past the mirror or about equal with the mirror on my McLaren. So that's a pretty massive tire. I mean, the Jeep is going to sit. I mean, the Jeep has to clear this. So the fender is going to be up here. The Jeep is going to be sitting up like the body of the Jeep is only going to start on top of the doors of the McLaren. So <laughs> it's going to be pretty, pretty freaking tall. And I'll get a little thing to stop it from rolling, but it's gonna look amazing. It really is. You can do this for pretty cheap. You know, I wanted to keep this as a realistic build, you know, not something crazy. So if you have a Gladiator, you want a Gladiator, you can make it look really cool for not a ton of money. With the tires, uh, you're looking at you know, around like 3,500 bucks for the whole thing. And that's pretty, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Now that is how a Jeep Gladiator should look. 
Um, now, of course, you have to picture them under the truck, but they are gonna poke a little bit. I went pretty aggressive on the wheel offset, so the tires will be out about like that. It's gonna give it a really good, really nice muscular stance. After this, we're gonna do bumpers and a few other uh, little goodies, but uh, man, the Jeep is, I just can't wait to see it when it's got this stuff on. Am I running around? I'm a little bit late, but Shane is staying at the shop late. Um, but I wanna get this dropped off so we can get the lift kit installed right away. Let's do it, and let it warm up for, whoa, warm up for a second. I love the reverse thing, it's like a Volkswagen. Jeep, by the way, is still great. I love this truck, I've been driving it every day. I already have 514 miles on it in, I think a little bit under a week yet, so I'm definitely driving it a lot. Um, now, I did have 100 on it when I got it, so we'll say about 400 miles, but uh, it's a really smooth, comfortable, good daily driver. I'm very impressed with how, even being a manual, like it's it's so easy to drive around. And I really, like I said, I'm impressed by the fact that it's a, a super capable off-roader, but they also made it like a really nice daily driver. I mean, that's the crazy thing for me. And I guess, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of used to like an older Jeep, so it came as such a surprise to me, but it's wonderful to drive. And I know I'm singing its praises a lot. I'm not being paid by Jeep because I know I keep saying the same thing, like how great it is, but it's really nice. I can see why people like the Gladiator. It's cool. It's a pickup truck and a Jeep. Get the best of both worlds. The thing of it is the new JLs are such a big step up. Like if you drove a JK era Jeep and then you get in a JL, like it's total, it's a totally different world. Like they really stepped up their game. This is, it feels much better built. It feels more solid. It's just, it's a way better vehicle all around. So that's where the, that's why it feels so good because I'm used to that. So this one's just miles better. And the quality of the materials. Now it's a lot of plastic, which you want because it's rugged and it's designed to kind of get wet and muddy and dirty. So you don't want like a lot of soft cloth material. Um, but even the plastic feels like good like it's not it doesn't move around it doesn't like creak and stuff like everything's it just feels well built the steering wheel is nice and comfy and soft um you know and this is like a base model you can get heated seats you can get all that good stuff if you wanted it you connect system from dodge is one of the better ones on the market as far as cars are concerned so it works really well like it always connects to my phone um, talking on the phone with the vehicle is easy. People can hear me, I can hear them. It's a good system. Even with the soft top at 40 miles an hour, you can't really hear any wind noise. You can hear a little bit, definitely more than a hard top, but I was kind of expecting it to be like real loud and crappy, but it, it you know, it seals very nicely. I kind of expected that maybe I would have to raise my voice when I'm talking on film, but I don't. And speaking of the soft top, it's really nice because if you use the uh, two levers on the side, you can fold the top back and it just holds in place. So you can have this open or you can open the whole thing. You can do a lot of different things with the top. Gonna be one of my upgrades was going to be a hard top because I thought that I wasn't going to like the soft top, but after having it, I don't mind it at all, so I don't. I think I'm gonna not even get the hard top. This is fine. Shifting is as smooth as butter. Back at PDW Performance Diesel Warehouse, where my Duramax also is. I think it's sitting. You can see it right there, next to that little like orange light thing way off in the distance. Duramax is getting a new steering box because it feels like crap. It's been getting looser and looser as time goes on, and uh, you know you never want a loose box. So we're getting a brand new one. It's gonna feel a lot better, especially with those wheels and tires. So the Duramax is gonna feel like a new truck again. I don't really need it for anything. And I don't like, I didn't need a steering box, but there's a few other things I wanted done, like uh, readjusting the front bumper since it was tweaked a little bit in my accident. <laughs> Figured I would drop it off and get all that little stuff done while I have the time because I have this to drive. Even though now I'm modifying this. So that's what you do. When you have a daily driver, you just modify it and then you can't use it. Yep, you'll be all right, I got it. Three and a half to four inch lift. That's what it says, three and a half to four. It's in the box. It can't be hard, it's only got two little boxes. Probably take you 25 minutes. Yeah, it is. Fabtech. Why don't you get a long arm kit? Well, I didn't want to spend all that money. <laughs> Fenders. Bumpers, the lift kit, wheels and tires. It's gonna look sick. 
the fenders like the other one. Yeah, I want to do like metal, metal like full metal fenders would be nuts. Hey, don't make fun of my base model things. <laughs> I don't appreciate it. I cheaped out. I wanted it's even a manual. I wanted the cheapest Gladiator I could get. Take doors off yet? Drive around. I will. When, maybe next season when it's warm out. It ain't that cold yet. <laughs> it's cold, man. I don't want to drive around with no doors. Spraying bed liner in for you. Yeah, I got the bed liner. That's something. That's better than my Duramax. Still don't have a bed liner in that. <laughs> Five years later, that was gonna be one of my first mods too. Got the LED lights in the bed. And they automatically go off when you shut it. Yeah. Oh, they're pumped. Or after a while, I guess. Guess that answers that. Yeah. Well, it sucks. It can't turn back on. I think you. Can, I think there's a button in there. Shane and I were talking about how we're gonna figure out how to lift my 20. Or, uh, Lord knows, I'm not driving around with DEF fluid. I'm not doing that. So, the EPA, I'll have to get in touch with them and maybe yeah, bribe them or something. Yeah, yeah, bribe them yeah, I'll have to do something. Be like, hey, bribe listen, them. I have a YouTube channel. Like, yeah, you can suck a D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. I, let me do what I want. They'll believe. They'll agree, right? When you want this button? Whenever. Tomorrow. <laughs> just, it doesn't have to be tomorrow. By the weekend would be nice. Because I was gonna, I was gonna have some fun with it, but. Where's your wheels and tires then? Don't have them yet. Well, how do you go have fun if you don't got wheels and tires? Well, well I'll just drive on these. Look <laughs> funny for a couple days. The wheels aren't in yet. I'm still waiting on them. They're what, sick like though. They might be. I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. The Jeep is dropped off. The Duramax is gone. The ZR1 is gone. This is no longer really mine. Uh, <laughs> I guess the Corrado's here, but you know, I mean, it actually, no, now it runs and drives, so I, I could drive that. But I'm basically down to the 600, which is just fine with me. So the Jeep should be back by tomorrow evening. Look for an update. The wheels should be in by the weekend. Look for an update on that as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. Let me know what you think of the direction the Gladiator build is going. I'm excited, I'm hype, can't wait. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys.